Hello, everybody. This is Jamie Shaw, and this is a Jamie Shaw Marketing Show. I'm glad to see everybody here tonight, and we're going to continue on from last week where I covered the blog. Um, I'll do a quick little recap on the blog, um, and then I'll get into. We're going to. I'm going to show you different ways to get content for your blog posts. Uh, I've been doing repurposing my content for my shows and my Facebook lives and putting them on my blog. So. I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to get them indexed. So, let's get started. Let me get over. Let me uh, share my screen with you. All right. So, here we are at the back office. I'll go into my dashboard. I'm going to take a little bit because I'm screen sharing. So. You know, last week we covered uh, pages and posts and menus, and themes. Um, we covered the Bloom plugin and uh, you know how you can set in and set up an opt-in form. Um, no, I haven't been driving a tremendous amount of traffic to my to my blog because uh, I've been doing still in that Facebook training and I haven't been doing a lot but you know I had six views today one yesterday one the day before that you know so somebody was on my blog today viewing all the pages I went through every page you know so and I didn't cover SEO but we can cover SEO real quick um, there's a plug-in called Yoast SEO and you want that on your um, where's that you want that on your setup on your blog because Yoast SEO helps you optimize your SEO settings um, I don't know where it is in here YouTube I'm not sure where it's at in the plugins, but uh, my settings, well, it's right here, so let's see where it takes me. I click on it. There we go. Oh, of course, it's under SEO. <laughs> but in the plugins, it should be called Yoast SEO, which I didn't see it in the Y's for some reason, so I don't know why. YouTube. I've got it activated. Maybe it's in the S's. Probably in the S's since it's SEO. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Should be in, in the plugins here somewhere. But I'm not sure where it is. But if you go to SEO and you go back into uh, the MSP sites, there is a well, plugins overview. Should be a tab on just. Well, let's go back. We'll look. Should be just one on Yoast SEO. Well, I'm not seeing it over here either. Oh, there it is. Yoast SEO and Webmaster Tools. And I'll cover a little bit of Webmaster Tools, but this Yoast SEO teaches you how to set it up. You want Rob4 settings in there. I think it comes pre-set up with Rob4 settings. Uh, watch these videos in here. It'll show you how to set up Bing Webmaster integration and how to submit your site map to Bing and how to set it to Google Search Console, which is Webmaster Tools. And I'll show you how to set them in, up in there. And uh, then you'll Every time you do a post, you'll be able to go through your SEO. 
So and this is kind of what it looks like. It should come set up, pre-set up for you. Um, see, everything's enabled. My info, uh, you know, you want to say that you're a person and you put your name in there. Connect web, Bing Webmaster Tools and Google Search Console. And then you get some security, which I have it turned off. And uh, social media. You put all your social media stuff in there. Uh, titles and meta tags. You know, you want it set like this. You will, and if you go through the videos, it'll teach you how to set it up step by step. If it's not set up, but I, I'm pretty sure it comes pre-set up. Um, there's Facebook, uh, Twitter, Pinterest. I don't have my Pinterest set up and Google Plus. I have everything set up except for Pinterest. And then how to get your site map. So this is where you get your SEO site map and you can put it in Webmaster Tools and start getting your site indexed and everything like that. Um, I have breadcrumbs turned off. There's a tool section, which I don't, I mean, you'll use import export if you're, if it's not set up the way it shows. And you can see I've got a tag in here in the search console for a soft 404. And then I'm not, I'm not premium, so I don't have premium set up in it. So we're going to go to post. Stop sharing here real quick. And the reason you want to go through the the PDF or the training page is to learn all you can about SEO or the Yoast SEO plugin. And uh, it'll walk you through everything, how it's supposed to look. It'll show you step by step. Rob Ford does an excellent job of showing you how it's set up. And uh, you know it's really good information, and it helps you rank your blog post when you write your blog post. So I'm going to go back to share my screen. All right. So here's some of my posts right here. I don't know if I have this one indexed, but I, when I go to index, indexing, I will show you how to do that one. But a uh, quick and easy way. Let me open, go to a different window. I want my show you guys. Uh, quick and easy way so if you want to take your videos that you already have created on your YouTube channel and you want to make a blog post out of them I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to get the content from your video there's two ways you can actually do it one I'm still kind of playing with and uh, it didn't seem to work very well unless you have an external mi microphone but it's an idea or you can do it while we're I'll show you how to do it live but uh you go in here and you go to subtitles and closed captions and say, I already had, sometimes it takes, you know, a couple weeks for this to show up. I mean, if I go to newer videos, I got a couple newer videos that the English automatic is set up already and they're already published. And there's some of them that are a couple, you know, a couple weeks old and they still don't have it. So um, some of their newer videos and stuff like that might not have this. It takes a while for, for it to transcribe. But if you click on that, if you have that button, it transcribes everything for you right there. So what you want to do is you want to click on actions and download. You get a .vtt, a .srt, a .sbb. You want the SRT. And you notice it says captions, SRT. So now what you want to do, I have no idea where it downloaded to. But we're going to open it. And it's going to ask you what you want to open it in. You want to open it in Notepad. So there's your captions. And you know, it's not perfect. You're going to have to go through and edit it. But the quickest way to start editing it is get rid of all this, these numbers and stuff. So you want to find a, a, a one, just replace, go all the way one through 10, replace three, replace it, four, replace it, five, replace it six replace it seven replace it eight replace it nine replace it and ten replace it ten replace it 
and then we want to put zero in there to get rid of all the zeros. We want to put semicolon in there to get rid of all the semicolon. We want to put comma in there to get rid of all the commas. And then you want to put the dash dash arrow in there. Get rid of it. Okay, now you're done with that. And you got all this text. Well, we're going to have to edit it anyway. And it's a pain to edit in Notepad. Notepad, don't spell check. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this. And we want to make it into paragraphs and stuff. So. This is all the transcription from your video. And like I said, it'll be a jumbled mess. So you'll have to go in and edit it. Some of the, some of the um, things don't it don't pick up your voice very well uh, I, w I just went through and calibrated my mic to my computer so it recognizes my voice a little better so hopefully the speech recognition that i'm going to show you works better but we'll see come on it's an hour long video so it's going to have quite a bit of text and it's got all those spaces and crap in it too so I wonder something. When I stop doing that. I wonder if I go the plays. Put a space in there. Nope, didn't do it. So I'll edit select all <laughs> instead of trying to do all that. And then you want to go edit copy and then we can minimize this and then we can go back on this hit the go back button and i don't remember what the name of that video was what do you How important is community? All right. Right there. So right. go edit it. So now we're going to go to, over to our blog. And I'm still on the videos. So hang out. There's my blog. I want to create a new post. And I'm going to use my Divi builder yes okay so i want to this ha, you'll get to see how easy divi is to use and i want a uh, text so i can come here and paste all this in here oh man it really screwed everything up I didn't think it'd do that. Let's do this. Let's try this. Let's edit it in here and see what happens. Oh, I see why. Because I said to take space out and do. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Let's try this again. Select all. Copy. And do paste. There we go. So we can take some of these spaces out of here. See, I didn't say everyone. You know, I said hello. My last name is not Shaw. It's Shaw. <laughs> so for right now, we're just going to get rid of some of the spaces in here. Actually, I don't like how that's looking, so. I think my thing just froze up. 
my Divi theme just froze up. I'll give it a minute to think about it. But let's take these spaces out of here real quick. You know, start to form paragraphs. This thing's really long, so you don't need to go through and edit this. I had one all prepared, but I had it on a, a zip drive, and I left it plugged into my computer at work. So I apologize about that because I didn't want to have to do this in front of all everybody. But uh, that's okay. We'll make it quick. Let me go back to all this stuff and get rid of all that stuff. But uh, but while we're messing around right here with Divi, we can get our uh, video set up. Go to my video, copy the link. And then after you get at editing that text, you can put it in here for your description, and it makes your description really long, and it help with your SEO and stuff on your on your. Uh, um, blog post well, where am I at? Um, there so we can add media here and you know kind of put a our YouTube video in there so now you know we got that set up and then when we get the text all edited we can get it put in there. So I'm going to come out of screen sharing so you guys don't have to watch me edit this text and I'll just see if I got any questions. Whoops, almost hit stop broadcast. I've experienced that before, so kill the hang out right in the middle of the, the middle of it and see if anybody's got any questions. Why? edit this and looks like I got some some folks watching if you're not afraid to log in there's a sign up button up in the right corner you know click on the sign up button and uh, log in say hi you can log in with your Facebook account say hi ask me any questions you want And, uh, you know, I'll edit this document real quick. But, I mean, this is an easy way to get content for your blog. You know, you can transcribe yourself. You can uh, you can use Google to, I mean, YouTube to transcribe your video. Uh, you can pay somebody five bucks on Fiverr to transcribe it for you. Uh, you can, there's a couple free programs out on the internet that you can use to transcribe it but I mean it's going to take a little bit of time you know you can either sit and write out the blog post or listen to the video and transcribe it or you can you know sit and write a blog post for the for the um, video or you can you know transcribe the video and have it in there too and I have another way you can use too, but um, I want to get this one in here real quick. And um, then I'll show you the other one. The other one's kind of slick. Um, and you should be able to use it if you have an external microphone. I mean, which you might have to just go buy a cheaper external, well, not cheap, but you know, you want to buy a decent, you know, little microphone. <clears throat> And use it and then you can go in and edit it I'm not gonna edit this whole thing so we'll just take give me a few more seconds and I'll get some content here put together
And uh, all right, I got just about got it. You know that you know, so that's an hour. My show's an hour long, so, and this is from one of my shows. So, um, so I think that's enough content. So, just for to show you guys an example, and we'll go back to our post, and now we'll just paste it in here and go in. You know, and edit the. I'm I'm probably not screen sharing, am I? I'll go back to screen sharing for you. Um, Okay, so I got some content copied in here. You know, it's probably not through 305. You want at least 300 words. And then let's go ahead and edit this real quick. And you can listen to the audio, you know, and make the corrections you want if you want. But uh, kind of make it look a little pretty, you know. I'm just going to do the first paragraph here so you guys get the idea. I don't want to bore you to death with why I edit a blog post. You know, so kind of make the first, you know, make it into nice readable paragraphs all the way down. And, uh. Then, you know, when you're done, just save and exit. And we're going to save this as a, a draft because I don't want to publish it until I go finish it out and edit it and everything. Well, you want to keep put your keywords in here, um, which, uh, go back to the video. Nobody likes me tonight. Nobody's making comments. So that's fine. Um, go to the YouTube channel and you see I already got some stuff in here um, but I'd like to take the transcription and put it in here and uh, so we're going to take our title copy and then we're going to go back over to post you know and our keyword is right here how important is community so you want one focus keyword and then meta keywords you can have two or three uh, so that's fine right there um to get, you don't have to worry about getting these all green. Well, actually, that was 421 words. Well, what did it do? Well, I hit enter, so it probably did a save draft on it. Um, let me see. That's gray because I have three stop words in my <coughs> in my keyword. If you go click on this button, it'll tell you what the stop words are. <laughs> no better description. You can edit the snippet in here. You know, uh, I'd take out the Jamie Shaw marketing show and just leave. How important is community? Uh, to leave it like that. That way, it's you know the title's right there. Uh, meta description. You know, let's go. I have to go back into the text editor. So. Let's copy uh, copy the first paragraph. And actually in the first paragraph you want your keyword. So so you can copy leave it as the ex excerpt or you can paste that in there. It doesn't matter. See that's way too long. That's why it's red. So
good enough. Close the snippet editor, so it, you know, and improved a little bit. The idea is to get this green, you know, and you can work on. So, uh, meta description, uh, no images. I don't have no image in there. Um, which you can do a featured image, uh, which we can search on Google for a featured image. Or you can go to uh, Canva or free images or anyone like that. And let's look for a good image right here. Uh, I don't know, I kind of like that one, so let's do a save image as, save that, and get rid of that. Now we're going to go to the image, go to uh, pictures, where go? so we're going to edit this in paint, and we're just going to do a resize, set it to pixels. 200 200 okay save now what we want to do is we want to set featured image I'm going to upload the image select oh got everybody's graduation certificate in there oh yeah and I got to get a couple certificates made for Saturday thinking of that so there's community open Upload, take a couple minutes. Your alt tag, you want to put your keyword in there. So, boom, there's your featured image, which that ain't going to help with this. You know, and I don't have really have no links in there, but I can go back and put a link in there. Uh, so you know we're talking about community um, down through here so put a couple spaces in there we want to use the MLSP call to action let's see what we got in there let's put in the mastery master sales page I don't know if that'd be let's center it and just install it so it should put a piece of code in there like that save and exit and then we want to do a save draft and then we'll preview it what it looks like to so one thing i don't like it seems it loads up i don't like how it puts this in here i just rather have it say that i don't like that part and i guess we can edit the snippet and take out site name so Go percent. Well, I guess we could just copy it, couldn't we? Copy it. So I don't want that title in there. So close snippet. There, that looks a lot better. Save this draft. Automatic. It pulls a, a code. You know, percent, percent, whatever, and it'll. You know auto import it but it looks ugly to me with all that in there so i just want an important community in my jamie jamie shaw marketing show so you see my readability is good and you can get to the readability tag right here i'll tell you what makes it readable and then the keyword the seo is orange it should be green which i can go through and since i'm using the divi theme i'm not too worried about I'm not too focused on it. I don't know if it. Let's see, I haven't used my focus word in a Q in a H2 tag. Which, I mean, when I'm done and go in and edit all the document, it'll probably match most of these, and this will be green. But we're just, I'm just trying to show you how to get one put together. And being I'm using the Divi theme, it'll be a little different for the rest of you. So see that image is kind of big, you know then. Boom, there's my, my post. 
there's my call to action you see i've got other stuff in there i got one and an interview i did with katie you know so so that's a good start so the next piece i want to show you real quick you know you got your blog all set up and everything i want to show you another way how to get your uh, um, video edited now what you can do is <clears throat> I've tried this and right now it's not working real well. So I got an untitled document there and I don't want it, so I'm gonna remove it. But what you do is you go new Google Docs and it opens up and you go tools, voice typing, and click on it. Now the voice typing will recognize my voice and I can either go in and play the video and let it recognize my voice or I can do my blog post like this and let Google do all the typing for me I don't have to do any typing I just talk to the computer so that might be a good way to do a blog post period next paragraph <laughs> Okay, so it's not super smart, so you gotta <laughs> so you gotta mess with it a little bit and play around with it. Um, you can put punctuation and stuff in here too. You can should be able to tell it to you know switch to the next paragraph, um, and you want to kind of this is a good way to write like you talk because it's recognizing your voice write like you talk say so now it's not recognizing my voice let's pause it let's try it again write like you talk because it's recognizing my voice and typing everything I'm saying you know so you know that's another example and the video I watched said you could use YouTube hey everybody this is Jamie Shaw and this is Jamie and Terry's marketing show my partner Terry is not with us tonight because the first of the month she goes to her AA meeting and she probably she may be here late I don't know but uh, usually she don't make it the first Monday or the first hangout of the month because she's got that appointment you know which is very important in her recovery so you know I have no problems with her missing that because that is very Sid didn't recognize the video very well I don't know if there's another good way to do that but I like the feature that you don't have to go out and buy a dragon you can do it right there. I mean, yeah, you'll have to go through and do a little editing on it. But, you know, we're marketers. We're used to writing blog posts. If you could talk like you type, you know, then that's a good way to, you know, uh, or if you type like you talk, you know, then that's a good way to get your voice to type out or get your voice, get your uh, your thoughts on paper without you sitting having to type everything it's recognizing your voice and you just go through your computer I can show you how to set it up real quick uh, I'll go back to a screen share and I'll show you how to set it up here real quick um, but uh, you know those are two easy ways you know then when I go back to screen share and I'm gonna show you how to set up the voice and then I'm gonna show you how to index your blog post and get them indexed right away uh, so anybody have any questions I see a couple of you in on and I don't see any questions right there so uh, well Dave's on still doing 2.0 2.0 uh, buddy All right, Dave. Uh, 
I don't understand. Yeah, Divi 2.0, yeah, it's still Divi 2.0. They're not going to upgrade till Divi 3.0 until they get the bugs worked out of it. So I'm fine with that. Divi 2.0 works pretty good. 3.0 is better and faster and more streamlined, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so I'll show you how to train your voice real quick to for your computer to recognize it. Um, go back to a share screen real quick. And if you go, if you got Windows 7, you can yeah. here and talk to Contra and she will help you train your voice. Let's see. And then you can go to, uh, you can type it in down here. Change text to speech settings. And you want to go in here to your microphone, say get started. And you want to set up your microphone. And I have an HD Pro Webcam 920. Peter talks to his computer. He prefers to type, prefers it to typing, and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. Now your microphone's set up. That's it. Piece of cake. So your microphone's all set up. Now I'm going to show you how to rank a video, or not a video, but rank a blog post or not rank it, but get it indexed. And you want to get it in the index of Google so it can be seen by Google. That way the spiders can crawl it. Um, if you search, I always do webmaster tools. It's Google search console now. Uh, I'm probably going to have to log into it. No, I'm already logged in. Okay, cool. So you want to add your properties in here. You see, I have a few in here. I got my blog post. I got this website and I've got a couple other ones, my computer repair business. Um, so I want to click on the site. And then remember earlier I showed you, um, where, let me open a, another dashboard. I showed you where to get the site map and used SEO. So if you go to SEO, Go to XML sitemap. You should be able to copy this right here. Or actually open that right there. And see, I'll say sitemap.index.html. You can copy all four of these, or you can just copy this one and put it in there. And if you look at my search console, when I go to you want to go to Google, Google index. You see, I got 666 URLs submitted. I've got 600 index. So that's pretty good, you know. So I've got some stuff on my blog that I haven't indexed yet. But you want to go to Google, Google index. I'm sorry, Google crawl. Or you want to go to crawl, and you want to go to sitemap first. And you can see, I've got my sitemap in here. That one I just showed you. Um, sitemap xml dot or sitemap underscore index dot xml you want to put it in here let's see it's right there sitemap index underscore index dot xml then i've got sitemap dot xml they're all index it shows you see that one's you know 222 web pages 200 index so it's showing everything i copied each one and put it in there you don't have to copy each one but i did because i want everything indexed that i can index um, to index a a brand new blog post you want to go fetch is google and you want to go to your blog post Let's see, let's go back. Edit post. Okay. We got that one saved as a draft. I want to go all posts. We're going to do one I don't have indexed yet. And so I'm not sure. Uh, it's this one right here. I'm pretty sure I don't have it indexed yet. Oops, wrong one. I want this one. 
because that one's in draft mode. I forgot to show you this check categories and stuff on it, so I'll show you that real quick. But you want to index the post. So what you want to do is you want to take this part of it. Copy. Okay, then go over to Search Console and you paste it right here. And you just hit fetch. And then hit request indexing. Check that you're not a robot. Hit crawl URL. And then it won't be automatic. And it doesn't matter that it says redirected. I don't know why it says that. But uh, but it'll, it'll look like these after it's after the spiders crawl it, indexing complete, indexing requested, some of these, it says index requested, then it shows the date when it was indexed. And if you go into Google, we'll start out with that and see what that, it's not showing, but it's showing that ain't mine, blogspot.com. That's going to be the author, Jamie Shaw. So, well, there it is right there already. See, it's already indexed in the, in the search engine. But I've already had that. I've had that one up for a while. So it might have been, it's probably been crawled by the spiders and everything already. So, yeah, so there it is. So let's go back. I'm going to close some of this stuff out. So let's search for Jamie. So there you go. You know, I got some ranked right in there. That one was already ranked on the first page just for a well, while. I'll, I'll do this a little different. I don't want all of that. I just want. Oh, uh, I know. That's why. Something's wrong there. I see that now. See, so it's supposed to be get out of your own way. Wow, I never noticed that that was messed up. So copy, paste, close that. And we want to go up here and edit this because that is wrong. And we only want, no, we want all of it. Okay, so now we go back to Search Console and redo this because that was wrong so it probably won't index one I'll probably end up getting an error on that one so there we go now if we go search for it it's probably not index yet it might be I don't know being it's an older blog post but if it's not, that's fine. Uh, you see, this shows everything that I've got indexed in here. There it is right there. Get out of your own way. Jamie Shaw Marketing Show. So let's do the key. Let's just do the keyword re and see. See if it's ranked anywhere. Nope, doesn't look like it is. But I haven't really worked on SEO, so I just submitted it. So it may take a you know a little while. If I go in and copy the whole the whole thing, it'll probably show you everything. 
but you can also go If you go site site colon and type it in there, it shows your it's our indexed already. So and it shows my blog indexed already because I put site colon first. It shows it the first page of Google if I use the whole thing. Uh, get out of your own way at Dudden if I put it in parentheses it might show the rank of it a little better because that shows how many people I'm competing with but doesn't look like it is so it looks like I got some SEO work to do on the thing and say so, yeah, I haven't really messed with the SEO on a lot of these so that's why the SEO isn't so hot on them but you know that's fine that's always something you can work on on your blog and everything so <clears throat> Um, that's something I like to work on on my blog is SEO getting post index and stuff um, but those are a few little ways to get stuff indexed uh, next week I'll probably uh, work on funnelizer training for you I'll do uh, show you how to make set up funnelizer how to get uh, custom capture pages set up um, any questions for anybody? Alexa, Alexa ranking. Okay, sure, Dave. Uh, I have a toolbar. I think it's called Alexa, Alexa toolbar, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken. And it's right here. And your Alexa ranking is where your site ranks. So I'm in 1,151,775 people in the United States on pennypensionmarketing.com. And I'm 432,481 in the United States, which isn't bad, but it's not great either. I see my website at Lowe's kind of, kind of slow. I only have one link to it. So if I go to uh, close out of that, why is it important? Because the higher your Alexa rank is, the more people that see your your blog posts and stuff like that, or your see your site and stuff like that. The higher you get ranked, you know, the better it off is for your SEO. That's why SEO is kind of important because it helps your blog rank, and you've seen. You know, this show was ranked, you know, 1.1 million. So that ain't too bad, you know, for the whole whole world. Now, this one will probably won't be as high. Yeah, it's 1.5 because Penny Pension Marketing is an age domain. And uh, I've had it since 2007. Um, JamesJShaw.com, I've only had for a couple of years. So, but you see... My world rank is, you know, 1.5 million, but my United States rank is 391,291 on penny pension marketing. It was higher. Say 432,481. So it helps with your ranking and it tells, you know, gives you similar sites. And say I only have two sites ranking in, so I need to work on. You know my ranking and I need to work on my backlinks it tells me the two sites that are ranking in all top which all top is a pretty pretty big one and then say I have been figure mastermind dot com Dougman is is ranking in too so uh, so you can go register at Alexa it'll tell you you know page views per visitor you know mine's all kind of low because I haven't been focused on working on my blog and I just got back to, you know, working on my blog. That's why my stats are really low and stuff. So um, don't pay a real attention about my stats. I'm sure Dave's stats are a lot higher because he's been consistently blogging on his every day. And uh, But your Alexa ranking is important because you want your, um, 
ranking to be up high. So if I do MLSP.com, for instance, go look at Alexa ranking. I'll give it time to load up. How do I increase my Alexa ranking? Uh, keep adding content to it daily. <laughs> So let's see, MLSP is 43,072 in the world and 17,000 in the U.S. And they have 971 links into it. You know, also, you know, increase my links so I can get more links coming into it, new uh, back or more backlinks into it, more content on it, more relevant content, make my page load faster. All these are, are factors, you know, to help your page rank better, you know, a good fast loading page with lots of links. And uh, good content, you know, video content, you know, because you're coming, you should have a YouTube link in there, but it don't because you're, I'm copying YouTube videos on my site. I don't know if it'll link, rank, if it'll provide a link like that or not. Um, but uh, I don't know if you have to actually upload the YouTube video or by doing it the way I showed you that it'll, it'll give you a link but uh you need to work on backlinks and stuff like that I mean backlinks don't hold as much weight as they used to but having backlinks to your site will help in your ranking um, get out of the screen share there um, see what else uh, uh, categories, you know, will help in your rank. Um, uh, putting tags on your blog post, you know, doing good keyword research and putting good keyword content, you know, making sure in the SEO, making sure all, you know, most of them are green. So you get a green light on your SEO, you know, some of mine are orange, but, you know, getting the SEO up to a green level and posting all your posts at the green level will help with your SEO score and it'll help rank better in your blog get some link your pages internal links that's i think that's something that's really helping dave's out because every time he writes a new blog post he's putting the link underneath of it from the previous day so he's got internal links going everywhere google looks at internal links and external links so you want external links coming from the outside in link it to your site and then you want internal links so people can click on you know other links and uh go to another blog post and i may have to do that i've been posting you know my my videos from my show here that i do every week i've been posting from the beginning and working my way backwards uh, maybe i need to put a link underneath of it uh for the you know the week before and that way if somebody wants to go back they can go back you know and that's something i just popped into my brain all of a sudden and i didn't i have seen dave do it and i didn't even think about it and that's probably a good idea to do So, uh, let's see what else. Um, do good key keyword research. Uh, you can put them keywords in the keyword area, and you can put them as tags as well. Tags and and uh, of course, uh, categories will help your blog post rank. Uh, I do have some blog posts and video that both rank on the same page or on the first page of Google, one right on top of each other. Uh, they may have, may have fell out by now. I haven't checked them lately, but I can get them to rank first and second or first one, two on Google. It's pretty, you know, it's not real hard to do. Uh, I'm actually going through some of Rob Ford's training again to get my SEO straightened out and my keyword research because he teaches keyword research and SEO and, uh, I'm going to get back into blogging. I was just showing you some easy ways to transcribe your videos. You know, if you don't have time to sit down and write a blog post, you can sit and edit them videos or you can, you know, do a voiceover and instead of having to type out your video. Uh, I think I might try out the, the voice command and try it a couple of times and see how it works. You know, who knows? It may turn out pretty good. We'll just see. I got to get the. Um, 
get it to do punctuation and do a return and stuff like that. And, you know, and it's just something you got to play with and work. There's also, you know, uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon, I think it's called, and it's text to speech also. But, you know, why pay? I think it's a hundred bucks. Why pay a hundred bucks if, you know, Google Docs will do it for you? Um, uh, let's see, I don't know. Okay, let's see, just the text I posted in there was 194 words, so I need to finish editing my document and put it, get it all up in there because it needs to be a minimum of 300 to help in the SEO score. Um, and see, so, you know, I try to stay away from stop words, which, which the stop words are of or your and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> That's all I got for you guys tonight. I know it's a little bit early, but it's okay. Um, we went kind of short last week. Uh, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Uh, but next week we'll work on uh, setting up um, Funnelizer, and I'll show you how to make a capture page in Funnelizer, and I'll show you how to make a, a custom capture page, you know, video page where you have your custom captures to everything too. So um there'll be some some more good training for you guys that want to come hang out i'll show you how to get it all set up and everything and start making you know your capture pages and you can start driving people to your to your offers and stuff like that and it's not real hard and it's really easy to do so i hope you got some value out of this you know if you did and you're interested in having a blog like mine um there's a big yellow button that says yes let, let me in you know you can take the system i use which provides you know masses amounts of training they provide a blog for you a custom capture page builder called funnelizer uh, they provide products for you for free that you can put out in the marketplace to give away to people they have profit products that you can post you know and sell for five or seven bucks um, they also have you know high-end products that you can buy or you can post out and sell and you make money on them so you can give it a ten, you hit yes let me in you can take a 10-day test drive see what the system is about um, i will you know help you out now and as a bonus of getting in you get introduced to our uh, saturday night workshop which is a mastermind on a zoom hangout where you get to ask questions to me and the other leaders face to face and you get your questions answered right away and there's no you know sitting in the chat type and everything you're on a camera webcam zoom in a zoom hangout face to face you get to ask your questions right away and get answers right away if you're stuck with your blog post you know there's people that can help with blog post if you're stuck with facebook or twitter or what whatever you know there's people that can help you um You know, and uh, you also get access to me. I mean, I will help you. I'm not going to hold your hand and do the work for you. But, you know, I'll show you the things I do to get people to come to me and come in. I'll show you how I do my hangouts and how to set a hangout up. I actually need to do a, uh, a show on how to set up a hangout because a lot of people are struggling with how to get their hangout set up. Uh, so that might be a good show to do in a couple weeks um but uh i'm gonna sign off for tonight make sure you hit uh pastor jackie uh, i don't know if uh, i can post that that big thing of links in here anymore hit pastor jackie uh tomorrow between 12 30 and 1 um then saturday nights our hangout of course and then uh monday night the 24 hour marketing mastermind with Dave Renica, who is in the chat, Katie Stage, and Pops, and myself, we'll all be uh, putting on another good show for you real quick. We had a special guest this last Monday night, who has been in for about two weeks, and he's gotten forty leads already. So you know, so um, and then Tuesday night, uh, don't have anything going. Oh, Sonia and Maria in uh, marketing systems at work. And then uh, 
Oh, it's going to let me post it. Surprise, surprise, surprise. There we go. I'll post all the links there in the chat. And then, you know, uh, Sonia's webinar. I don't know if Lowell still have his. And Sonia's is... We need to update that. Cause I, don't think, I don't see Sonia. Yeah, marketing strategies will work. Sonia Maria, Tuesday at, I think that's 4 p.m. Eastern time, not 3 p.m. So click on that link and go there. And then Wednesday is Wisdom Wednesday with Pat Patterson, Avrianica Pops, and Key Stage, and Davis Sussler, and Tandy Davis. And uh, and then back here Thursday night to Jamie Shaw's marketing show. So we'll have Funnelizer training next week. So come hang out with me, and I'll teach you all about Funnelizer. So you all have a good night. I will see you on the next show. Or probably a Facebook Live or something that I'm doing because I've been doing Facebook Lives again. So watch out for me. If not, I'll see you back here next Thursday.